Hey everyone, how are you doing? Today we are going to um, talk about finding area on the coordinate plane, meaning we're going to see different um, shapes, figures, polygons on the coordinate plane, or as we know it, a piece of graph paper. Um, and we're going to be able to find the area of those figures and shapes, even if those um, lengths and widths and heights um, are not vertical and horizontal, maybe they're on a diagonal like we see over here. Now, the reason why we did yesterday's lesson first, which was um, finding the area of a shaded figure, is because it kind of leads into how to find the area on the coordinate plane. So if you think about what we see over here, um, we essentially want to find the area of this triangle in like this light pink. And the problem with finding the area of a triangle, um, or this triangle, I should say, on the coordinate plane, is we're not allowed to count from here to here and say it's approximately like, let's say like maybe one, two, two boxes. That's not how it works. You're only allowed to count if it's a horizontal or vertical line. As soon as you have a diagonal, you can't count boxes anymore. So what we do is um, we kind of box in the figure. So that's where yesterday's lesson, um, finding area of a shaded region comes into play. So if we boxed in a figure, and I'm gonna do like this, essentially we're just thinking like, okay, let's box it in. Let's go here to here, here to here, here to here, and here to here. And I'm actually just gonna make these a little bit thinner. So if we box in this figure, right, I'm just gonna make it a little bit thinner. Sorry, let's see what we have, okay. As so, it's like we now have area of a shaded region. Maybe you want to find the area of the shaded region of this rectangle. So we're going to use what we did yesterday, which would be to find the area of the big shape, which is the rectangle. So we have like that. So we have first we're going to find the area of the rectangle. And then we're going to find the area of the three small triangles. So one, two, three. We're going to add these three areas of the triangles together and subtract it from the area of the big rectangle. And that would give us the area of the shaded region, or in this case, the area of that uh, triangle. So let's take a look at what we did here. So to find the area of the rectangle, right, that's like what we boxed in. That would be um, a base of two and a height of three, right? Area of rectangle is base times height, so it gives us a total area of six uh, squared units. Then if you want to find the area of the three smaller triangles, we're going to use the same formula that we use for just any area of a triangle, which is base times height divided by two. We're going to go triangle by triangle. So triangle A has a base of 1, a height of 2. So it would be 1 times 2 divided by 2, which is 2 divided by 2. It's just 1. Then down here, triangle B, base of 2, height of 1. So 2 times 1 divided by 2 is 1. Then our last triangle, triangle C, base of 1, height of 3. 1 times 3 is 3, divided by 2 is 1.5. So now what we need to do is take these three sums, and add them together, which we did right here, and we get a total of 3.5 uh, square units. So now the two numbers we're going to focus on is the total area of the smaller triangle, which is 3.5, and the area of our rectangle, which is 6. We're going to subtract 3.5 from 6 and gives us a total um, area of, shaded, of that shaded triangle at 2.5 units squared. Okay, So really it's almost like yesterday's lesson in terms of um, finding area of a shaded region, except now it's on the coordinate plane, so we really have to use the boxes and count boxes to give us bases and heights. Okay, so that's just like an example of how this would work. So, turning it over on the back, what we're going to ask you to do is to try number one by yourselves, and this will be um, the one that you're going to be submitting on the Google Forms. So remember, when we do this, you want to box it in. I can even give you a little a little guidance, right? I can kind of just show you if I mean boxing it in, we can do this one together, I'll help you box it in, and it looks something like this, right? So essentially, you now want to find the area of G, this triangle, uh, this triangle right in the middle. So then that means you're going to have to find the area of, we'll call this triangle one, this triangle two, and this triangle three. So I kind of gave you some guidance there. So we'd like you to find the area of triangle G and submit it onto the Google Forms. Remember that link for Google Forms is underneath this video um, back on my eboard. 
okay? But we can do numbers two and three together since we're not asking you to submit these answers on the Google Forms. So now for number two, we're asking you to find the area of the quadrilateral R, which is on the corner plane, here it is. Um, <clears throat> and to do that, we again box off this quadrilateral into this rectangle. And once we do that, we have one, two, three, four triangles. I label them triangle A, B, C, and D. Using that formula of base times height divided by two for the triangles and base times height for the rectangle. So let's deal with the rectangle first. I think the rectangle is pretty straightforward, right? It's going to be, let's see, this base is three plus two, which is five. The height is five plus one, which is six. So five times six is 30. So the area of the rectangle is um, 30 units squared. We're just well, keeping it at 30 right now, nice and simple. Then we're gonna move on to triangle A, which is down here. And triangle A, let me just erase this. Just highlight this now in this yellow, has a base of three and a height of one. So look over here, three times one divided by two, half of three is 1.5. We go on to triangle B, which is over here. Base of three, height of five, so 3 times 5 divided by 2, half of 15 is 7.5. Move on to triangle C, that's over here in the corner. Base of 2, height of 2, 2 times 2 divided by 2, so half of 4 is 2. And then finally we have D, base of 2, height of 4. So 2 times 4 divided by 2, half of 8 is 4. So like on the first page of the example question, right, we're going to do our whole area of the rectangle minus the sum of the triangle's areas. So we have 1.5 for triangle A, 7.5 for triangle B, 2 for triangle C, and 4 for triangle B. Take these areas, add them up, and we get 15. So 30 minus 15 gives us a total area for quadrilateral R at 15 units squared. All right. So then last but not least, kind of put a little challenge on here for you all. Um, we have this pentagon, so it's a very awkward uh, shape, right? It is a pentagon because it's five sides, but if you look, take a look at what happens, or happened, I should say, with this pentagon, is when I made my rectangle around the pentagon, oops, if you take a look, the pentagon is actually not inscribed inside of the rectangle. I remember what inscribe means. It means that all the vertices are touching the outer figure. And that's not happening, right? It's not happening right over here. This, oh, can't see it in yellow. This vertice right here isn't touching the outer figure. So it's a little awkward because now what we have are three triangles, a triangle at A, a triangle at B, and a triangle at C, but then over here we have this awkward shape. So what I did was I created two small triangles at D and E, and then I left this little square out because I can find the area of a square. So now to find the area of this pentagon, what do I have? Well, I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, triangles and one square. So let's see, we have area of triangle A is four times one divided by two. Okay, two. Area of triangle B is two times two divided by two, uh, which is half of four is two. C is two times two, okay, divided by two, which is two. D is one times two, which is two, half of two is one. And E is three times one, three, divided by two is 1.5. And then this tiny square right here is just one by one. So base times height, one times one is just one. So now it's a little more complicated in terms of we have to take all of these areas, sum them up, so add them all together, and we get 9.5, and take that away from the full rectangle, which is two plus four is six, and we have here, Two plus two is four. Six times four is 24. So 24 minus 9.5 is the total area of K is 14.5 square units. Okay, and this finishes up really how to find the area of um, 
any sort of polygon on the coordinate plane, right? The key thing that we're doing when finding the area on the coordinate plane is we are looking to box in that shape, put a box around the shape so that it's as inscribed as possible. It might happen where one vertice or one vertex isn't touching the outer figure, that's okay. When that little figure is left over, then you break this figure up, you decompose it um, into more familiar shapes. And then that's whole, it's the whole uh, idea of area of the shaded region. Area of the big, and then you take away all the pieces towards the outer um, shape. All right, so this finishes up area on the coordinate plane. Um, don't forget to go back to number one, try to find the area of G by yourself. And when you submit your answer, um, through Google Forms, there will be a video that shows you the correct solution. Okay, good luck and have fun.